Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are in the assembly section of JetBot. Now, this is lesson number 1A. It's going to be the continuation of the previous lesson where we unpacked. I showed you how to unpack and what is exactly there in JetBot and Jetson Nano, right? So from this lesson and the following few lessons, I'm going to show you how to assemble each and every part and the components like motors and wheels and stuff like that. So this is lesson number 1A. We are going to fix the motors as per the manual, the instruction manual, right? So let's take a look at the instruction manual, uh, which is lesson 1A, right? So if, if you uh, take a careful uh, look, let me also switch over the video so that you will get an understanding what we are going to do. So as per this lesson, we have two DC motors uh, which comes with a white color uh, socket wire and also we need to take four long screws which is within the packet which is within the kit and the nuts and it has to be in the exact position the way it has been positioned as per this drawing okay so let me show you how I did it take a look at it guys so this is how uh, after fixing uh, the motors this is how it looks like so this is a normal uh, DC uh, motor uh, which runs somewhere which consumes somewhere between 3 volt to uh, 9 volt. Uh, this comes with a, you know, a small socket which will be connected later. Uh, for this video, uh, for this particular lesson, all you need to do is you, you would have got this kind of uh, long screw in your, uh, in your kit. So take out this screw and also there are associated nuts along with that. So it's, it's th this kind of small uh, nuts, okay? So uh, you need to insert the long shaft. The shaft of the motor should come out in this big hole. And there are two other holes where your this long nut goes inside, this nut from outside to inwards, like this, towards inwards. Can you see here? And you need to put the nut and tighten it. Make sure that guys, you, you have a, a plier like this and a screwdriver like this, a star uh, screwdriver, uh, all right? Uh, you got to hold it tight because uh, the speed of the motor is extremely high and the jet bot uh, is, you know, sometimes it goes uncontrollable. So you got to hold this and tighten it as much as possible, not too tight, but also pretty, uh, you know, a pretty decent uh, amount of torque you need to apply. So once you fix these two on both the sides, the shaft should be outside. So this is how it should look like. So take a careful look and look at the manual which I prepared. It's pretty easy to understand. And this is how the base will look like. Okay. Once you have fixed the motors, we will move on to the next lessons. You have multiple nuts and bolts which comes along with the kit. So utilize that. But do not use these two screwdrivers for tightening your motors. These are for different purpose. Uh, which I will show you in the later uh, uh, lessons. For now, make sure that you have your base two motors connected and keep it ready. I am going to be back soon in the next lesson. Goodbye.